this overview page again and you should see a file manager menu item on the right hand side. Go into the file manager. This is where you can upload your video files that will be used for the TV station playlists and scheduling. To upload a file simply right click into the file manager and click on upload files. You can either drag and drop files onto here or click on the select files to upload option which will prompt a new window where you can upload files from. In my case I'll just drag and drop a file onto the drop files here option and upload it that way. Your file will now start uploading and you should see it here in a few seconds. If you are uploading very large files or are having trouble uploading files at all, there is another way to upload files using FTP directly. Uh, for more details on how to do that, please see the FTP upload tutorial in our knowledge base. After you have finished uploading your files, click the service overview menu option to return to the service overview page. Now you can start setting up the TV station. Just like with the file manager, click on the TV station menu option on the right hand side, which will take you to a new page. The first thing you want to do on this new page is click on the new playlist option. A new window will pop up with several options. The first option should be self-explanatory. Under playlist name you can enter a name for this new playlist you are creating for your own reference so you can tell the playlists apart. Um, we'll just enter a tutorial example here. Under start playing you configure the date and time on which the playlist will start playing. Uh, we can just select the current date and something like 8 a.m. Under stop playing, you specify the time and date on which you want this playlist to stop playing. We can select something like this. Under calendar uh, color, you can set the color that this playlist will have on the calendar. This is especially useful if you have a lot of playlists since you can easier tell them apart by color. As this is our first playlist, we'll just leave it at the default, which is blue, and click on continue. Now on the next page uh, you can scroll down and you will see an option called available media. Uh, this will show all the media you have uploaded on the server. Uh, building your playlist is very simple. You simply get the media from the left and drag and drop it under the build your playlist item. When the item shows up here it means that it was moved here and is now in your playlist. To apply this change just click on the save playlist button here and now your playlist has been created. Now in the top here uh, you have a notification saying your playlists have been recently updated you must restart your service to apply the changes. Then just click on the restart now button here to apply the change. Now let's go back to the TV station option on the right here and take a look at what we have done so far. So now on the playlist calendar here we can see a new item called 8A tutorial example. That's the playlist we just created. If you want to make any changes to the playlist we created just click on it in the calendar view here and it will bring up the edit options that we saw before. That's it for the TV station tutorial. Now let's take a look at how to set up the service to serve on-demand content. The first thing we want to do is go back to the service overview page.